Hey everybody, and welcome to my um, final aspect of my Genius Hour project. Um, so this is going to be a bit of a TED talk. However, because I'm not technically in the TED conference um, area, I'm going to turn this more into my own little swing of a TED talk and make it into more of a vlog. So I'm going to have you guys on the road with me, I'm currently sitting in my car, we won't drive or anything, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about what I did for my Genius Hour project and what it did for me. So to start, I did base my Genius Hour on being able to do the splits. So it's been a long time since I was able to do the splits last. Um, as a kid, I did do a lot of gymnastics for many, many years, and I actually was really good and really flexible at doing the splits and many other tricks and stunts. But as I've gotten older, obviously I've lost that flexibility. To me, that's quite upsetting, as this was a huge part of my life when I was a kid, um, and I would like to get back to that. So. Originally, my idea for my Genius Hour came from dedicating one hour a week to just being able to uh, stretch, focus on flexibility again, and eventually do get back to doing my splits. Now, after doing some research, I found out that just stretching alone is not necessarily going to do it for me. So I did actually enroll myself in a couple of yoga classes. So I did do in-person classes. I also did some online classes as well because it was a lot cheaper. I could do it on my own time in the morning. In the afternoon when I was done school etc and I found that these were honestly the most helpful part of this genius hour for me so I followed a youtuber called yoga with Adrian and she posts videos almost every day of new um, yoga practices dedicated to different parts of the bodies different interests different types of people and of course different uh, levels of ability in terms of yoga so she does have some beginner classes and then she has right up to super advanced classes now I've done yoga in the past but again I kind of lost it as I've gotten older and have been more busy with school and other obligations and so this was a really a good time for me to just focus on what I love doing most and spend some time on myself that was probably my favorite part of this genius hour project um, I was able to, like I said, dedicate one hour every day to something that interests me. And this, doing this yoga every single day to get my splits really helped me de-stress. Um, it helped wake me up in the morning because every single morning when I got up, the first thing I would do was stretch. It's part of my daily regimen that I dedicated to when I came up with this genius hour idea. That really, one, it helped me wake up in the morning, gave me that burst of energy that I needed without even having to drink a coffee. And two, uh, did actually make me a lot more flexible and realize a lot more about my own health and my personal well-being. This was most important for me and this is the part I'm most proud of when it comes to this Genius Hour was that I did get a good kickstart on a healthier life for myself. Now the yoga that I mostly did after school, I tried to dedicate myself to two, two yoga classes per week and actually my mom did partake in this with me as well. She thought it was a very good idea to get herself back into shape as well. Uh, it was awesome to have a partner to do this with because it made the yoga classes a lot more engaging and I was able to have some more motivation than just doing it by myself. These yoga classes uh, not only made me more fit and more strong, but it really, really, really helped me to achieve my goal of getting the splits. And I wanted to also talk a little bit about the challenges that I faced with this Genius Hour. The first challenge that I faced was doubt from um, my peers. When people would ask me, what are you doing for your Genius Hour project? And I say, I'm going to learn how to do the splits again. A lot of their faces went a little bit confused. How are you going to take six weeks to do the splits? That doesn't seem like enough work. What, what, what's the why? Why? Honestly, the answer to that question, if you've ever done the splits yourself, you realize that it takes a lot more than just a couple days. To get your body conditioned enough and flexible enough to be able to do the splits is a lot of work. Not to mention to keep it. So... I actually did take the full six weeks. I was really close a couple days, but as with every physical goal, there are always a couple setbacks. So I did have those as well, but I just wanted to prove to everybody who doubted me that it is possible and more challenging than you would think. So I am really honestly very happy that I did commit to this as my Genius Hour project because I'm back to being where I used to be when I was younger. Maybe not as brave in terms of tumbling, but I definitely am just as flexible, which is awesome. I do feel a lot better about myself. It kicked off my healthy living streak that I've been on so far. And I will definitely continue to complete these splits and exercises on a daily basis to keep myself in the best condition that I possibly can, that I possibly can be. 
Um, thank you guys so much for following me on my journey this far, and I hope you really enjoyed following um, and watching, or not listening, I guess, reading my progress. And I hope you take it upon yourself to commit to one genius hour idea and spend about six weeks doing one hour of what you love per week or even per day. All the best to you and thanks so much for following. Bye!